the epic fantasy world of Middle-earth, crafted by the genius of J.R.R. Tolkien in The Lord of the Rings, has left an indelible mark on modern literature and pop culture. Tolkien's intricate character arcs, the deeply layered mythologies, and the intricate intricacies of his languages have entranced readers and viewers for generations. While many are familiar with the tales of Frodo Baggins, Gandalf, and the One Ring, there are countless intriguing details and facts about this masterpiece. Here are some captivating facts about The Lord of the Rings that you might not know. Tolkien's Initial Reluctance Tolkien never initially intended to write a sequel to The Hobbit. The immense popularity of Bilbo's adventure prompted his publisher to request a follow-up. What began as a reluctant task transformed into a labor of love spanning over 16 years. Influence of World War I Tolkien's experiences during World War I profoundly influenced his writings. The harrowing battles, camaraderie among soldiers, and the tragic loss of close friends provided the emotional underpinning for the War of the Ring and the deeply human themes in his work. Constructed Languages One of Tolkien's passions was philology, the study of languages. He not only developed the elvish languages of Quenya and Sindarin with grammar and vocabulary, but also crafted the scripts for dwarves, ents, and even the black speech for the denizens of Mordor. Tolkien often said he created Middle-earth to give his languages a place to live. Inspiration for the Ring, Norse mythology, particularly the legends in the Volsunga saga about a cursed ring and a broken sword, provided inspiration for some elements of the story. Historical artifacts like the Roman Ring of Silvianus, believed to inspire Tolkien, have been discovered and linked to a curse. Origins of the Ents. The Ents, those ancient tree shepherds of Middle-earth, were birthed from Tolkien's despair over the loss of ancient English woodlands. He envisioned them as nature's retaliation against the unrelenting march of industrialization. The trilogy isn't technically a trilogy. While often referred to as a trilogy, Tolkien saw The Lord of the Rings as a single novel, divided into six sections with a prologue and appendices. The decision to publish it in three volumes was largely due to post-war paper shortages and economic considerations. The real-life fellowship, the camaraderie and bond shared by the members of the Fellowship of the Ring echo the close ties Tolkien had with a group of friends at King Edward's school in Birmingham. They called themselves the TCBS, or Tea Club, Barovian Society, and their bond and eventual experiences in World War I deeply impacted Tolkien. Tom Bombadil's Mystery One of the most enigmatic characters, Tom Bombadil, who doesn't appear in Peter Jackson's film adaptations, remains a mystery. Tolkien purposefully left Bombadil's origins and nature ambiguous, allowing readers to speculate and interpret his role. Legal Tussles and the Beatles in the 1960s, the Beatles considered adapting The Lord of the Rings into a film, with Paul McCartney as Frodo, Ringo Starr as Sam, George Harrison as Gandalf, and John Lennon as Gollum. The plan fell apart, partly due to Tolkien's resistance. The never-ending sequel. Tolkien began working on a sequel named The New Shadow, set 100 years after the fall of Sauron. However, he abandoned it after 13 pages, stating it was both sinister and depressing. Importance of the Appendices Tolkien's appendices at the end of The Return of the King contain a wealth of information, including timelines, family trees, and further details on languages. They reveal the fates of characters post-war and provide invaluable context to the broader history of Middle-earth. The Ring's Destruction Date A fun fact is that the One Ring was destroyed on March 25th. Tolkien, a devout Catholic, may have chosen this date intentionally as it is traditionally recognized 
as the Day of the Annunciation, an essential Christian event. The Lord of the Rings is a rich tapestry of characters, cultures, and languages reflecting the genius of its creator. Its depths are profound, with many layers yet to be discovered, explored, and cherished. Tolkien's masterpiece, steeped in history, personal experiences, and profound understanding of humanity, remains a timeless tale that continues to enchant and inspire. The above facts are merely the tip of the iceberg, a glimpse into the intricate world that Tolkien meticulously crafted, beckoning readers to embark on their own journey into Middle-earth. Shelob and her origins The monstrous spider, Shelob, who confronts Frodo and Sam in The Two Towers, has a deep lineage. She's the offspring of Ungoliant, a primeval spider-like entity from Tolkien's the Silmarillion, Ungoliant's insatiable hunger, plays a pivotal role in the history of Middle-earth, particularly in the theft of the Silmarils, legendary gems crate 